Welcome to the Thin Within Podcast, the show for women who want mental secrets for weight loss mastery. I'm your host, Marna Thal. I'm the owner of ThinWithin.com, and I'm here to give you the inside scoop on how to lose weight by mastering your inner game. Diets never work for me long term, and if you're like 95% of the rest of the human race, they haven't worked long term for you either. Every week, I'll give you tools, techniques, and resources you need to actually succeed in using the power of your mind to lose weight. I can't wait to teach you another mental secret, so let's dive right in. Hello, everybody. I am so excited today to talk to you about how your excuses are actually your current body beliefs. So I know that you can change your body. You can absolutely change your weight or your fitness, your strength, and your health. I know it because I see it every single day. But sometimes when I talk to people who share with me that they crave a thinner or lighter body and the opportunity to work together lands right in their lap, sometimes it can feel so scary to take that action. So you might find this happening to you as well. You want to take your action. You pour your time into creating a thinner or lighter body. You might even have an opportunity to invest your time and money into manifesting greater health. Yet you find yourself pulling back because even though you crave a different version of yourself and your body, you may have rehearsed patterns of thought like, it won't work for me. It's going to be too time intensive. I'm not motivated enough to change. I love food too much for my body to shift. It's never going to work because I have a slow thyroid, I'm big boned, or I just have big girl hereditary genes. Something that my coach several years back, Shanda Sumter, and Tony Robbins said that really has helped me assess where I'm pulling back and where I need to up level is that your excuses equal your beliefs. Now, if you allow your beliefs to be your excuses, or if you believe your excuses to be your beliefs, then your excuse, also known as your beliefs, might be the very thing holding you back. And when we know that your thoughts create your reality, this makes a whole lot of sense. So an example of this is that I noticed myself doing easier Pilates workouts because I was nervous about having increased back pain. So I've been staying with some easier types of workouts. The problem is, is that I've been using my back as an excuse from stepping up my workouts. And some of you are doing this too. I'm scared my back will hurt from my car accident. And so I've been asking the wrong questions. What I've been doing is thinking about how I can make it easy for my back. Instead of focusing on making it easy for my back, I instead began asking different questions. How can I take care of and support my back while I strengthen my body? How can I take care of and support my back while I challenge my mind and body to push through more challenging workouts? So as a result, over this past week, I've taken two new classes. I've challenged myself to the hardest Pilates class that they offer, and I've asked my instructors what I can do to support my back at the same time. So today I want you to look at what excuses are you making about movement, about your weight, about overeating or eating more than your body desires that you really believe are true. What have you conditioned to really believe are your truth? That maybe, just maybe aren't, maybe, just maybe, there's an opportunity to up-level, transform, and change. So when you know what excuses you're making about movement, about your weight, about overeating, when you write all of these down, I want you to look at what the impact is. 
if you keep on giving yourself these excuses, which are just your beliefs, what will happen five years from now if you hold these beliefs in your heart, in your mind, and in your body? Then I want you to ask yourself how you can begin playing bigger. Where are you holding yourself too small? It's time to begin to have that new, much more powerful conversation with yourself. Each and every one of you listening has the opportunity to play bigger in your life and stretch way beyond your comfort zone. Are you going to do it? Or are you going to let those excuses dictate how you're going to show up today and every day with your body? So I encourage you to get out a piece of paper. Look at the excuses that you're giving yourself, that you're telling yourself every single day as it relates to food, your weight, and what you're capable of doing. Are these the excuses that you want to believe? Because these excuses are your beliefs. Of course they seem real. It seemed real when I was telling myself I had to be so, so careful with my back and I couldn't challenge myself. Of course they seem real because you have mentally rehearsed them over and over and they are your beliefs. So what if you could stop right now using time, money, lack thinking, age, how much you have to lose, or any other factor that have been getting in your way as an excuse to not play full out and create your desired results. I may not know your situation, but what I know is this. You're smart enough, powerful enough, and strong enough to be able to find a way to step on the gas pedal and move out of the old thoughts that are holding you back. Each of you has an opportunity to create the life, the body that you want. So go for it. What are you waiting for? Choose one thing right now that you're going to do in this moment to move your health and your body forward and then do it. Go full speed ahead and do it. And I'd love to know what it is that you're choosing to do. I'd love to hear it. Now, the 30-day challenge is coming up. It starts on Monday. And if you'd like to join me, an amazing group of women who are nervously and excitedly facing their beliefs, facing their bodies, facing the unknown, join me. I will put a link in the podcast notes and I would love to focus on helping you move into your next chapter of your health and wellness. All you have to do is go to thinwithin.com forward slash 30 days. Go to thinwithin.com forward slash 30 days. I would love to help you move into your next version of your health and wellness. Move through your excuses and change your beliefs. Have an amazing, beautiful day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.